Okay, uh, hey guys. <laughs> this is the prettiest quality recording ever. Um, yeah, you just got some Pokemon. Um, and we're just walking around. And what? Um, this is my fourth time through Pokemon X, by the way. I know a lot about this game. Um, but some people may be wondering, how do you EV train in this? Because, like, if you're a noob and... I just made this because I feel like I need to upload something. Um, basically, this is EV training in Pokemon X and Y. So you can't just normal EV train, but that's... Can be quicker in certain cases still, but the more entertaining and usually quicker way is to um, no, frick you. Um, you want to no, you don't want to walk around. The ground thing that's Pokemon Amy. Super training. So you go to super training. This is your EV stats here. It's not as exact as you'd like, but it does give you a pretty good idea. And then you can switch out to your Pokemon that you want. Um, I like Raichu. He's good with this stuff. Now, you can't just, like, train on bags and, like, punch this. Um, and you can find bags and stuff that'll give you boosts on EV. But the fastest way to do this is to go to this. Now you're going to start out, when you enter this, at level 1, just keep on doing these. These each give you 4 on these stats, on each of these stats, then 8, then 12, and you'll notice this is the maximum that you can get each day. And yeah, I've cleared all this stuff from... It's already, um, I haven't really used this much until this run through. Um, it's very useful. I'm pretty sure now this works with level 100s too, which really bends the rules for EV training, which makes, that makes it really cool too. Um, and by the way, you got sick Christmas decorations. Yeah, that's the nicest tree I've ever seen. Um, let me get a better view of this. Yeah. Um, enough of that. I'm just on my couch looking around. And yeah, I just wanted to go over this. And you can enter. They're really hard. So I'm going to try and get an angle that's... Rather okay. Yeah, how am I gonna do this? So. If I set this like this. This should be still working. Okay. And then just get in a nice position. Yeah, this does not work out good. Um, but... Yeah. Basically, you're gonna enter this, and then just hit... One... Um... It's really hard to play at this angle. But yeah, you get the point. It's basically soccer. 
you hit these little goals. Um, certain Pokemon have certain abilities, like this guy can hold down and uh, also each Pokemon has a little special thing if you hold down long enough. You gotta dodge those though, you can't let that hit you, cause that's obviously scoring into your goal, which you don't want. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. And then you can go back, because this is really not comfortable to do it. Like this. Um, it's, I can't even imagine how Cinder Moon's going to be. But yeah, and then you're just going to want to go back. And yeah. Fit. So after that, you should like gain a bag for whatever that was. And yeah, you also and you can gain some sweet EV stats. Now, as you can see, this is one of the more EV trained ones I have. My frog deer. And he has some pretty nice attack and defense EV trained. This guy got some nice decent training. This guy not so much. He's not that great. This guy really needs to work. But he just got out from an egg, so I won't blame him. Right shoe is good on a stats here, and then... Ultra, surprisingly, is really hard to EV train this way. Like, there, it, there's Pokemon that are best to train this way, and there are Pokemon that really should you should just train normally for EV training. We're just use those other Pokemon and let these Pokemon, those other Pokemon use bags, which works too when it makes things a lot more efficient. And also, if you tend to find me on Passerby, on Pokemon, just, um, X, I will be playing this totally till I get, um, somewhat commonly. Till I get Sun and Moon, then I'm gonna do a full play of that, and then just continuously play there. Except for the fact that it's gonna be harder to do battles online, so I'm probably gonna still come back to this after I, um, Christmas somewhat. Um, to play on Degas, um, but yeah. I'm just gonna... Save on Geocentric Town. My name is Thans. Because why not? That's what I name myself all the time now in Pokemon. And then I make some really stupid Undertale puns for my starters. And some of them, yes, have been actually quite funny. Um jokes. Cool dude you got here, Papyrus reference. Sensation is a underpants reference. Pikachu is just, of course, it's, you gotta have it. Hollywood and Amor and Ralts are normal. Um, and my nickname that I gave my character was Sanus, which, if you didn't know, is a meme that was originated from an underpants April Fool's thing. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to go over a bunch of random stuff in Pokemon X. But yeah, that was how you EV train in Pokemon X. It's pretty nice, it works, um, but yeah. I'm definitely not going to showcase me actually doing this. Unless I have some really cool way of recording. Actually, does this work? No, it does not. How is this going to work? That does not work. I think 
good. No. Yeah, I'm never gonna be able to do this on camera. This is, like, really hard to do. Unless I find a really good position. But, yeah. Um, that's about it. Uh, all I wanted to showcase. Yeah, this is how you EV train, guys. So if you enjoyed, please leave a thumbs up on the video or like. Actually, that's how you. That's what it's called. It's not Facebook. People call it. I'm also following me on Twitter, Larry the Guy. His name and yeah, yeah. Um, and also read my blog. Iggy plays. I don't really access it often. I do access Twitter somewhat. Not really. I just check on random posts from YouTubers I watch. And I do post like a thing or two here and then as well. Um, but yeah. Anyways, enough of that. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're having fun EV training now. And. Bye!